Alright, so let's review the changes and let me close this. So these are settings for my editor, nothing to worry about here. So in app.view we have the keep alive component in which we specify that only the list should be cached during our changes in, in routes. Then we also added the functionality to the switch to be able to turn the monitor on and off. Um, we have a method here, toggle monitor, and toggle monitor will do exactly that. We'll call the create monitor or the destroy monitor depending on what the status of that switch is. Um, we modified the remote form a little bit. We added a name here so that the keep alive component was able to reference it and determine that it shouldn't be cached. And we have um, change here, same thing, uh, because of the keep alive component. And finally, we added this check to determine whether or not we are actually monitoring um, and that that the monitor should be turned on for a particular remote. Okay, so with that we can commit and then move on to the next npm package that we want to implement here. So let's do that. Awesome. So we're still on, let me close these and this one. We're still going to add an NPM module, so we'll stay in this branch. And the next thing I want to implement in this app is the ability to persist the data that we have in our app. So persist the remotes on the user's computer. So that the next time they open up the application, they will see whatever they were already looking at before closing it. Okay, so let's go ahead and install something called NEDB. And so before I move on, let me show you what NEDB is. Here's the NPM page for the package. We can also go into the GitHub page. You'll see that this is a database, an embedded or in-memory database for Node, and it works in our application and WJS, Electron, and browsers as well. It's 100% JavaScript and doesn't have a binary dependency. It's uh, like it says here, it has a subset of MongoDB's commands, so the syntax is, if you're familiar with MongoDB, is going to be very familiar. If you can, and if you want, you can support the development of this package here. So here's the full documentation. We're not going to use really a lot of it, but like I said, if you're familiar with Mongo, then you should be feeling right at home using this. So let's go ahead and start using it. 